Behind me is a Harry Potter themed tree house. We're in Asheville, North Carolina, and whether you are a huge fan or not, this place is impressive. What I love most about this tree house is the owners did so much research in pulling together all the different elements to make it feel like a mini Hogwarts. Mm -hmm. The structure itself with all of the pointed roofs, the two turrets on the front and back, the windows, just all the shapes in that exterior dark gray stone makes it feel like you are stepping into the world of Harry Potter. Totally agree, and when you pull up to it, you get so excited to go inside. A really neat part is they've got these little flame lamps and lights that wrap around the deck, making for the perfect entrance and walkway up to your castle-like treehouse. Speaking of the deck, it wraps around the entire treehouse, and out front there's a little seating area, and the view is incredible. Okay. So <laughs> Overlooking the valley and the mountains out in the distance, and the sunsets are just amazing here. They will take your breath away. They also have a fire pit outside, as well as a sign that says Wizard Hollow with a little owl and flowers. Love that piece. Now, let's go check out the inside. Real quick, if you're interested in working with us, you can go to journeymore.com and fill out the contact form. The interior of this treehouse is full of an impressive amount of details. So many that we're probably not even going to be able to talk about all of them. Mm -hmm. So as we're talking and giving this tour, we're going to try to show as much as possible. Yes. And we'll start here in the living room. When you walk inside, you've got a couch chair and then a bookcase that actually doubles as the door to the bedroom and we love all the details on the bookcase it feels very harry potter especially the sorting hat that sits up top and then they also have a chair with a flag of each house sitting behind it just giving you that feel. Then next to the chair is a little faux fireplace heater, and next to that, your TV where they provide the Harry Potter movies for you so you can have a little movie night while you're here. <laughs> All of the ceilings are vaulted in this treehouse, which I think gives it that Hogwarts feel, mm -hmm. just like the exterior. And so right off of the living room is a full kitchen. They've got a microwave and stove top for cooking, and then they've also got some neat little detail pieces mm -hmm. like this dragon light that hangs over the sink. And then they've got glasses for each house. And then your seasonings, rather than being in normal seasoning cups, they are in these little, little test tubes. tubes. Test tubes. Yes. The hosts also provide a lot of goodies for your stay. And then right off the kitchen is one of those turrets, which is the dining room. Again, it just feels magical in that circular room. And then right outside the dining room is... A little stack of different sized chests, and in the top one, they actually have a little bowl that has a bunch of different ones, and they're like quality, heavy ones, so it's really fun for taking pictures. I've been playing with those since we've got here. <laughs> and then continuing on behind us, we actually have a full bath with a shower curtain that is a bookcase and then just other finishes that go along with the theme and then my favorite part of the bathroom is definitely the stained glass window that has Harry Potter on it is really neat. And then right outside the bathroom is another neat decoration and that is the entire Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone book in a big picture frame. And then the last thing down here is the master bedroom that has a queen bed with probably the coolest chandelier that is metal art with Hogwarts etched into it, as well as some floating candles above the bed that you have to point the little remote at to turn on and turn off. So adds to the feel as well as a robe and tie that you can dress up in and we may or may not have done that <laughs> at some point. <laughs> and then right off of that bedroom into the other turret 
is a spiral staircase, and this is probably my favorite part of the whole treehouse. Mm -hmm. In the stairs, you'll see all of the spells from Harry Potter that are etched into the metal. And then up on the handrails, they've actually got a lot of metal art of different things like the nine and three quarters sign and Slytherin and Gryffindor. Mm -hmm. And so it's just the details on those stairs are so neat. And then you come right up to another bedroom with a queen bed and you'll see a nine and three quarters pillow <laughs> right there. And then continuing across the balcony, you've got a lot of little details in this nook with a nice reading chair and some decorations and more little potion <laughs> bottles and things as well, which is just so neat. And I think one thing that gets overlooked here because this is such a heavy themed Airbnb, most people just think about Harry Potter, but it actually has an incredible mountain view. Mm -hmm. You could literally just stay here for the view if you want. Yes, to. I totally agree. So the fact that they are captivating you with both the finishes inside and the view outside, just imagine how you feel walking into this place. Special question of the video, of course it has to be Harry Potter themed. This is it. Which Harry Potter house are you and why? comment down below. Mm -hmm. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. And if you don't know which house you belong to, there are lots of tests. You can just Google which Harry Potter house am I. You'll take a little quiz, come up with the answer, and then come back and comment. And you can see if you match up with our houses because they are different. And we'll tell you at some point which <laughs> ones we are. If you want to, you can comment and guess which is which. Ooh, I'd be impressed if you guys got it right. Me too. <laughs> Staying in this Harry Potter Airbnb, it wouldn't be right unless we had some homemade butterbeer, which I'm so excited about. And then we also are gonna make a butterbeer mug cake. So we have our drink and our treat, both butterbeer themes. They are gonna be delicious and we'll leave the recipes below so you guys can follow them along. The recipe is super simple. We're gonna start out by adding our butter, flour, brown sugar, baking powder, and cinnamon. Mix that up and then the good stuff comes up to that. You can use either cream soda, but I got a butterscotch cream soda, so it's gonna be extra butterscotch. Got some frozen mugs, complimentary of the host for our butterbeer. We've got our homemade whipped cream, and now we're gonna cook our cakes, put it all together. It's gonna be the best. First off, blazing hot, but look at that. It's a whole cake. A whole cake. <laughs> My little cake, oh. <laughs> it's so warm, it's all slight. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. This is going to be very interesting for me. I'm not a big soft drink, soda drinker, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this. He'll probably take one sip. But that's actually why we made the cakes, because I was like, I think I would enjoy the cake yeah. first. <laughs> well, if you're gonna do that, then. <laughs> Okay. I think that that, it is very good for what it is. For a 90 second microwavable little cake, mm -hmm. it is very good. I'm not as hopeful on this one. You will probably like it. You'll probably love it. You love cream soda. Cheers. It looks awesome. Now the whipped cream on top with the butterscotch. That's the bomb. Is incredible. The homemade whipped cream is a must. But that that butterscotch beer is very intense. Woo! That is intense. I could see most people enjoying that though. For sure. Mm. Mm. Yum. <laughs> Time to watch the movie. Look, you look like him. I don't know if that's a compliment. <laughs> Yeah.
If you want to book a stay at this treehouse, we will leave a link in the description below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and comment down below your answer to this video's question, which Hogwarts house do you belong to and why?